let's look at recording into Jam Pro using Audio Bus to give us access to all the excellent drum machines and synths available as iOS apps. Open Audio Bus and select an input. Let's use the Audio Kit Synth 1. Tap on it to load it as an input. Give it time to load. It's important to do things in the right order with Audio Bus as well. There it is at the top. Now we'll swap over to the settings and just the latency. We find 256 works well, but it might need to be more if you glitch or you may be able to get away with less for a better response. Now we can hear the synth one because it's playing directly through Audio Bus. We haven't selected Jam Pro as an output yet. Now we will do tap on the output, select Jam Pro, tap to launch. And it always loads into the store. We're going to use the UK drill set with some good beats in it. Load that. Press mode, select sampling in, and monitor's got to be on for you to hear your source through jam. As a pre-roll, we'll have two bars to give us time to swap into it. And max bars will set to eight. That's the number of bars you're going to record. Jam Pro always works loop safe, so you get exact loops. In Jam Pro, nothing works until you press play. Now we're rolling. We can hear our synth one through Jam Pro because we've got monitor on. Sounds a bit distorted. Hop back to Jam Pro, turn the input gain down a bit. Your input meter helps you set that. Okay, let's turn that arpeggio off now. Turn hold off, go back to Jam Pro. Press record, tap any clip to start recording. Get the count in, swap back to Synth 1. I'm using the gadget on the right hand side to swap between Audio Bus and the various apps. If you can't see that gadget, you might swipe on the little arrow to pull it out and make it visible. Set max bars to 8, so we're going to get 8 bars of recording and then Jam will drop out of recording and play that loop back. Here we go. Synth 1 still playing, turn that off. Now what we're hearing is the loop we've just recorded into Jam. There it is available for effects and all your funky things too. Now for fun, we'll layer over another clip. Get our preset ready in Synth 1. Go back to Jam. Hit Record. Prompts us for our clip. Select a clip. Get our count in. And swap back to Synth 1 to play our solo. Not exactly Dorian concept, but you get the idea. And now that's playing back that clip as well. There it is. By the way, there's a few clicks on this demo. I think they're more the way it's been recorded rather than the app. And this way we can build up new sets and new parts just in Jam using all the apps available on the iOS as our sources. You can also add another channel into Audio Bus and Wolfgang Palm, the wonderful inventor of PPG, has given us this synth infinite which is good fun let's load that as a source load jam pro as the output again so both those channels are ending up in jam uh, we could using the mixer turn off one or two of those channels or decide which one we want to record but let's le have them both so we show we can record both at the same time let's go back to our arpeggio in uh, synth one and we'll put it on hold so that we can leave that playing in the background and then freak out on the infinite. That's more like it. Back to jam. Get ready to record. Record ready. Select our clip, get our count in, and swap back to infinite. We just have time. Here we go. And. Now we 
got our clip with both those sources recorded into one clip, should you want to do that. This is why we didn't bother to put loads of synths and stuff actually into Jam. We thought there's a lot of good apps already available, and if we can get uh, them recorded in, then that gives you access to them as sound sources. Okay, there we go. Thanks for your attention, and if you're having fun with Jam or have questions, or want to hang out, there's the Facebook Ninja Jam group, the Music Network, Jam Pro Forum, and also a subreddit Jam Pro on Reddit. See you there.